All right, so let's break down the strumming pattern of the song now. All right, this uh, strumming pattern I'm going to show you is pretty close to the exact strumming pattern that he does, but it's kind of hard to count for beginners. So I'm going to show you the exact strumming pattern and then offer a alternative strumming pattern to use that is pretty much you know close to the same thing. It'll get you through the song and it'll sound the same if you sing over it. Um, not that big of a difference. All right, so the strumming pattern is a eight count strumming pattern, but we're going to count it in two groups of four to make it a bit easier. And the strumming pattern uh, basically goes like this first, and then we'll count it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to count it for you. One and and four and two three four and one and and four and two three four and one and and four and two three four and one and and four and two three four and. All right. So the strumming pattern is one and and four and two three four and. Breaking that down real slow. One and and four and two three four and. All right. So kind of hard to count. Um, and strum this if you're if you've never counted strumming patterns before. So I highly recommend you go into some other videos and learning these strumming patterns. All right, so one more time: one and and four and two three four and. So two groups of four. The first one is one and and four. The second one is and two three four and. All right, so you're gonna put those together. You can tap this on your leg however you need to. But basically, what I'm doing here is the first group of the strumming pattern the one and and four, I'm skipping the two and the three, the second and third beat. So it's one, two, skip, you come up, you skip the third one, you come up again, and then down on four. So one, two, and three, and four. Okay? So that's the first turn pattern. The second one is pretty simple. You're going to skip the one and go and two, three, four, and. That's real easy. And two, three, four, and. So up, down, 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 up. Pretty simple. All right, so that's the sermon pattern one more time. One and, and four and two, three, four, eight. All right, that's it. And he pretty much keeps that sermon pattern going the entire song. One thing he does, th though, is uh, he changes chords in the middle of the sermon pattern sometimes, like on the verse. Okay, so when I went from that... Uh, C or a B to the C, I change the middle of the strumming pattern. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the D, one, uh, one and and four and two. When I hit that three, I'm playing the uh, the C or B, three, four and and then I'm finishing out that strumming pattern that I started on the D, finishing it out on that B chord, and then going to the next chord. So one more time. One and and four and two three four and one and and four and two three four and one. Okay, to that C, and that's what he pretty much does. The only other strumming pattern uh, difference in the song is in the chorus. We uh, give us clean hands. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not. Right here. Let us not. When he goes to the E minor seven, you're going to kind of change this up a bit. You can kind of do what you want to with it. Um, just to give you some guidance, you can change this up to a one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and real easy. Four downs and up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Okay. So you're just kind of you're changing uh you're changing the chords every four beats now on that part of the uh, chorus. So it's eight beats on the first chord. Let us not lift our souls to another. So one, two, three, four, and on that part. All right, so that pretty much sums up the strumming pattern. I know it's a, a bit confusing, but I was trying to get the exact strumming pattern. So here's an alternate strumming pattern that you can do. This is real simple. Again, uh, this is eight counts, but what we're going to do is count it really, really way different than what you're supposed to count at the right way to count it. And this is also in one of my other strumming videos. So the way we're going to count this string pattern is one, two, and, and. You're going to do the exact same thing again. One, two, and, and, and then three, and, four, and. One, two, and, and, one, two, and, and, three, and, four, and. One, two, and, and, one, two, and, and, three, and, four, and. So down.
down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. You can count that out real slow if you need to. And as you can see, this works perfectly fine on this song. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. That's that part in the chorus I was talking about where you change up the strumming pattern to four downs and up. One, two, three, four, and. It works with the, uh, the verse two. We bow our hearts. We bring down You still have to do that C over B to a C chord, though. It's kind of like you're jumping up to that C, C over B chord real quick. Okay? But it still works, so. One, two, and, and one, two, and, and three, and four, and one, two, and, and one, two, and, and three, and four, and like that. Okay, so still on that three, three, and four, and one, that's where you're going to change that C over B. Okay, so that's pretty much the entire song. You have the chord progression, you have the strumming pattern, you have two strumming patterns, um, the exact one and an alternative strumming pattern that you can use, but that's pretty much the entire song. Um, hope this lesson helped.